Good morning quilters. It's April here with the January Vanderhoof Quilters Corner Bundle. Um, we have another really nice sized bundle and I'm feeling something a little on the, the hard side in here. So I'm really curious to see what we got. Um, I just want to show you, share with you December's uh, bundle. So I did it a little differently. Um, they didn't give us this gray, this gray I added, but they gave us this beautiful six uh, piece panel for table runners, or not table runners, uh, <laughs> sorry, placemats. And they gave us this beautiful blue snowflake for the backing, which I couldn't put it on the back. Nobody sees the back. And then they gave us this pretty uh, blue and gray stripe for our binding. Um, I did do an economy binding because my placemats did wind up being um, a little bigger than what was suggested uh, for a standard size placemat, but I wanted a little bigger because I didn't want to lose too much of this print. Now, when I was at the store the other day, because I'm lucky enough to live in Vanderhoof, um, I came across another panel and this one's very like just all winter as soon as the snow flies all winter and this other one is uh more christmas but i have to say it's just it's so cute i couldn't resist so it does have six more it does have six different um pictures on it just like this one did um so I, i'll share it with you i couldn't resist so we have home for the holidays we have this beautiful rustic barn and then we have, oh, I can't even see, Merry Christmas. And then on the other side, we have another really pretty rustic barn. Um, family, oh geez, I can't read backwards, sorry guys. Family gathers here for Christmas, which is really pretty. And then we have the horse drawn, okay, maybe mule drawn, uh, slate. And that, so they do have this panel still in stock. So if you want to make some, I know January, we're 12 months away, but let's face it. We never get to our projects on a timely fashion. So if you buy it now, there's a good chance you'll have it done by Christmas or next year. So I just, I couldn't resist. It was super cute. I had to get it and show it to you. Um, now with this one here, I did go ahead and batting and quilt it and that. With another way you could do your table placemats is with the self binding method. And if you guys are all at interest at all interested in the self binding method for um, the placemats, let me know. Happy to do a tutorial. Um, it doesn't have any batting in it, so it makes it a little bit more cost effective because you're not using the batting. But most of us have scrap batting kicking around. So I just really wanted to share this panel with you guys. It was super pretty. And I have a feeling I'll wind up out for Christmas next year. If it doesn't get lost in the in the shuffle. So here is our January bundle. And eyes don't fail me because oh there it is. I love these little cell phone bags and, and like I said before, what I do is I until I get too many of them. I'll, I'll save them and if I'm working on a quilt, I will uh, save a couple pieces of scraps, label where that quilt went, and uh, same because I have some wonderful nieces and nephews that uh, <laughs> their quilts have come back for repair. Um, my one nephew is into Junior Rodeo and I made him a denim rag quilt and my brother brought it back to me and I said, well, what's wrong with the quilt? And he goes, it's been loved. And that, so he unfolded it, held it up for me, and it was literally just hanging in pieces. Denim rag quilt, didn't take much to fix, not a big deal. So, and then as you can see, I got a new project on the wall. And I have to say, this has been a fun project. You used up so many scraps thinking, oh great, I'm gonna put a huge dent in my scrap in. Not so much, but all scraps. So I'm really happy. I don't know where this one's going to, but it's really bright and colorful. Okay, so we do have our beautiful shiny paper, and I see the note at the top, so I am going to try not to peek here. 
Okay, maybe I'll go. <laughs> it's not coming on your voice. Oh yeah. Here we go. We have our letter. Quilter's Corner Bundle. Happy New Year. We hope your holidays were spectacular. This month we have chosen a brand new ruler. Oh yes, another ruler. Love these rulers. To add to your collection, the straight out of line ruler will have your have your stacking fabric and then you will cut the deck to create your project. The project we have chosen is called Against the Rail. Our quilter was able to make a table topper using uh, using just a charm pack and the inner border. The ruler can be used with any square fabric from four inches up to 10 inches. We hope you enjoy using this ruler for many of your upcoming projects. Um, thank you from the Vanderhoof department store and they're the ones that put out the Quilters Corner bundle. Lovely shop. If you're ever up in Vanderhoof, you got to check it out. They have amazing stuff. 250-567-2311. So if you're at all interested in the bundle signing up, give them a call. The ladies are wonderful. If you've looked at any of my past videos and you're interested in one of the past bundles, give them a call. If they still have it in stock, they will happily ship it out to you. I do really recommend because I am so in love with the uh, placemats that we got. And that is such, they're, they're so cute. And that, so I know they have a few of those left, so give them a call. Okay, so let's see what we got in our bundle. Okay, so let's kind of shuffle. Ooh, wow, that's pretty. Okay, so this is a Creative Grids ruler, which I love the Creative Grid ones. They have that kind of um, little dot set, and the edging has that texture, so it doesn't slide very easily. And that, and I keep meaning, and I should have done it yesterday when I was there, um, buying myself some of the stickers to put on some of my other rulers so it doesn't slide so much. And I definitely want to get some for my granny. She's she's a quilter too. And that, so it'll help her. So we have all these different lines. And I'm sorry for the glare. But, uh, and it gives, oh, it gives us, of course, in the package here, it'll give you some different directions for some different ways to use the ruler. So that's the one thing I do like about the Creative Grid rulers. They give you more than one idea. So that's nice. So this is the pattern we got. And it is against the rails. And this one yields a 65 by 82 inch quilt top. Um, but like they said, we're going to get a table runner out of this. You could by all means like add to this and, and get the quilt top. And I think the quilt top will be really pretty. Not a huge fan of the colors in the picture, but I do like the style. And I think you could probably twist the blocks to get almost like a bit of a more like a spinning star kind of idea. Um, for the pattern, it says you need a variety of 24 inch uh, green squares, nine by nine, and a 24, 24 uh, background fabric or black, nine by nine squares. So there's a few things you need um, to make this specific pattern. I don't know if there's alternate, but I'll have to look into that. So, but cute little pattern. And I love these patterns. They're nice, stiff paper, three old punched, and they will go in my binder of patterns. Okay, so, oh, chocolate, which all the sculptures need are stashed chocolate, and thankfully mine got replenished over the holidays. Um, so I'm figuring this is probably our border it's really pretty teal green tone on tone I real I actually use quite a bit of this particular tone on tone um, not so much always this color but this print and I find it a really nice one we have this beautiful light teal kind of watercolor uh, print and it could be binding border um, because they're both the same. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. I would say these are about quarter meter each. 
And then the Pista Resistance Charm Pack. Now, this is a 42 piece charm pack, which most of them standardly are. Uh, and this one's by Winged Whisper, or sorry, the, it's called Winged Whisper by Diana June. Oh, right, somebody I can actually pronounce. Uh, by five, uh, five Carat Crystals by Wyndham Collection. So this is really pretty. Um, just because I love you guys. Take the band off. Because you know darn well, it's probably not going to fit back in here. And I think this is going to make a fabulous kind of, let's face it, it's already January or already like a winter. I have to say, I kind of, I'm one of those people. As soon as Christmas is done, I want the snow gone. <laughs> so we have this really pretty, pretty kind of floral, really soft colors. And then this one's got some butterflies, nice large scale, a really pretty kind of watercolor yellow. Some small flowers, kind of watercolor. And, and that's what I'm loving with this. It's all very watercolor. And that a paler yellow. Another one of those butterfly prints. A different butterfly print. And it in blue. I love these colors. They're all another, another watercolor with that tealy blue, which is very, very similar. Or actually, it is the same. and another pink i love these butterflies okay so we do have some doubles and as in any line we have some repeats just in, in different colorways we've got the pink watercolor oh that's pretty the tone on tone butterflies i could probably spend all day looking at these and planning and some pink butterflies and some swirls we have two of those and then we have the same kind of tone on tone pink butterflies and we have it oh and that, i love this color absolutely love this color and we have the purpley blue we got a purple watercolor my granddaughter would be so in love with this i got one granddaughter that is all about the purple everything purple and some more oh i love these butterflies those are so pretty you know a person you got a bigger chunk i do have one butterfly that's all here you can fussy cut those out and easily use it for an applique project tone on tone purple and some more i have to say these colors are really really soft very spring like and i quite like them they're very pretty and as we all know that's probably not gonna fit back in the package easily but I'll fuss with that later. Um, I'm really curious because it does say on the ruler here or on our note that it will cut from a four inch up to a 10 inch. So I'm going to have to read the directions, but I can see we've got this line here, this white line, sorry, my fingers on the wrong side. So this white line here and there's the four inch. I'm going to have to read through this and uh, get back to you about how this works. Um, I'm really excited, but I'm kind of, hold on here. So I take this and I line it up. Okay, you see that? Oh, maybe, here, let's go. Oh, we'll use the cardstock and that. So if you line it up there, on the edge you can see this white line here so maybe you're kind of cutting like a diamondy shape i don't know i'm gonna have to play with it um so yeah can't wait to try this out and i will see you guys next month maybe sooner if i figure this out and i'll give you guys a heads up um because right now in my brain i'm going this isn't making sense but i would i know i will figure this out oh okay so you can do four inches on both sides okay my brain's just gotta figure this out so enjoy your january be creative have fun and i'll see you next month